or we could work. I mean, we could work the through the configurations on that first molecule, and then just kind of work through the rest of them. Yeah, please. Yeah, so let's do this stereo center right here first, right? So the the key is to prioritize, and then also understand that there's a hydrogen going back into the page. So uh, in general, for like all of them, there's always hydrogen. All right, sorry about that. She just went to pick up food. <laughs> uh, so the groups that are attached to this stereo center are you got to have four different groups, right? So that's three, and then this one is going to be a fourth one. Mm -hmm. Priority-wise, you have a carbon, a carbon, a hydrogen, and oxygen. So oxygen is going to be the top priority group because it has the highest uh, atomic mass. And then hydrogen is going to be the lowest priority group because it's hydrogen. It's always the lowest, unless okay. there's a. And then of the two carbons, right, since they're the same, we have to go to the next atom. So in this case, the next atom here will be bromine. And then on this side, the next atom is carbon. Mm -hmm. So we're going to say that this over here is going to be two and then this carbon right here would be three priority wise mm -hmm. the, the, are you okay with that or because you sound yes yeah, kind of yeah i'm okay with that i have a question <laughs> dr russell go right ahead so is there a carbon um coming so okay at the green dot that first green dot is there a carbon right there Hold on one second. Let me. The first one what that I have right here. The one that I have that we're just looking at. That has the hydrogen coming out of it and then the OH attached to it. Yeah. So if in a skeletal form like this, let me, let me just um, draw another structure. So if I have something like that, every one of these vertices. So every vertex is a carbon. Right, if it's a vertex, it's a CH2. So all of these are CH2, unless you have another atom attached. Okay, so in the case of like finding um, the um, configuration, mm -hmm. because all three of those are the same carbons, you have to go to the, the bromine. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so let, let's, let me clear that up. So the configuration is only with respect to the chiral center that we're looking at. So it's this carbon right here. And it's got it's chiral because it has four different groups on, attached to it. So the OH is one of the things that's attached, that's bonded to it. The hydrogen is bonded to it. And then on each side left on the left and right side there, there or carbons bonded to it. Okay. All right. So then if, if that's the case, then when you when you're comparing when you're prioritizing, you 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 base you prioritize based on atomic mass, right? But since both of these are carbons, right, they got the same atomic mass. So then you move to the next atom. To find a point of difference. That's why I went to the bromine on that side, and the, and the other carbon that's right here on the other side. Because anytime you have two groups that are the same but they're not identical, then you look for a point of difference to prioritize those groups. And since bromine right here is has a higher atomic number than the carbon right here, then that group that group over there is going to be second in priority relative to the oxygen and, and the OH group. Okay. Um, can we do an example where it would be, well, since that's going, let me see, all right. Um, counterclockwise, uh, where mm -hmm. we would like flip it from uh, like S to R or R to S. Yeah, we'll do it. We, we, when we do uh, the other isomers down here, we can do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So then let's so that's S. You're right. It is counterclockwise because you're counting to three. Four doesn't count, right? We don't count that. So it's counterclockwise. So what about the next one? Let me erase all this other stuff too. So what about the this stereo center right here? That carbon, because it is chiral. And there is a hydrogen going back. That's understood because that carbon is tetrahedral. So what's one? What's the highest priority group? We know the hydrogen is going to be the lowest priority group. So that's four. And then you have a bromine. You have a carbon. Let me erase this. Oh, not that. So you have bromine attached. On, on the left side of that chiral center, you got a carbon and you got another carbon right here. So those are those are the other three groups in addition to hydrogen. And we know that bromine is going to be higher in priority than the other than the two carbons because it has a, an, an atomic mass of 79, right? The carbon, both of those carbons have the same atomic mass, so we need to go to the next atom. So, so over here, this carbon is bound, bound to a hydroxyl. And on the right side, we, we're going to go right here. It's bound to, bound to a CH3. So oxygen is higher in priority than carbon. So this carbon over here is going to be two. And then that will make this three. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, anytime you have the same atom twice, but it's not they're not identical, then you have to prioritize them by moving to the next atom in the sequence. And once you get to a point of difference, you compare the, the two atoms that are the point of difference. So here we will compare oxygen and carbon because those are the two atoms that are directly attached. So then what is that? Is that S also? If we count to three, isn't that counterclockwise too? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do, let's just put that in. S, S, right? And then over here, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, find this configuration too. And what you'll find is that once you find one set in a in a in a, in a um, stereoisomer and all the rest of your stereoisomers look like that, it, like they're all the same, they just have different configurations, you can really extrapolate what you found, what we find here to all of these. So we're gonna do that. But we're gonna, we'll do them the hard way first and then we'll extrapolate the rest. Cause I'm, I, I know you wanna do one where you have to reverse it. So let's look at uh, this stereo center right here, right? Of the three atoms, you got all three of your atoms that are not hydrogen, because there's a hydrogen going back. They're all carbon. So you got a carbon here, you got a carbon here, and a carbon here. So what do we have to do? Because all three of those are different, even though they're all carbon. What do we need to do? Uh, move to the next element. Move to the next element. Good. So let's do the carbon on the on the left that's attached to bromine. And then this carbon on the right is attached to another carbon. And this mm -hmm. carbon down here is attached to a hydrogen. So which one is highest in priority, you think? Uh, bromine. The one that's connected to bromine. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, the carbon. Yeah, no, the I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Mm -hmm. So this is one, this carbon over here, right? Of the, uh, we know that's four because it's hydrogen. And then the other mm -hmm. two carbons, which one do you think is higher in priority? Uh, let's see. One. 15. So would it be CH3? Okay, if, if that's the case, let, let, let me draw it out so you can see it. So this is bound to hydrogen. And over here, this is a uh, carbon, uh, right? So we're comparing hydrogen to carbon. You following? I see. So CH3 is three. 
This is three. Carbon X. connected to carbon. And that's two. Okay. Oh, I see now. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be what? R? That's clockwise, isn't it? Yes. Because mm -hmm. if you count to three, one, two, three is clockwise. So this is R. All right. I'm going to erase out some of this uh, crap off of here. All right, so that's SSR. That's the configuration for that stereo isomer. Let's do the mirror image. All right, let's do this one. We've already prioritized this up here. This doesn't change. This is going to be one. This is going to be two, and this is going to be three. That that's not going to change. Right, the priority won't change. The configuration is going to change, though. So that's clock. That's counterclockwise still, right? Yes. Well, how do you know the um that the hydrogen is going to point back on a wedge? Yeah. Okay. Good question. Anytime you have a skeletal structure on a vertex, one of the groups is wedged, and one is dashed because hydrogen had. I mean, uh, carbon has a tetrahedral geometry, so that's just the nature of its geometry. That's so that's a given. If you got a way uh, a dash group like the OH, yeah, the I other group it. that's on that on that carbon by default is going to be on a wedge. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what would that be under normal circumstances? Who was that asking about the, the reverse? I didn't see the name. That was me. Okay. Asia. Okay, what would it be under normal circumstances? One second, my screen left me. I'm trying to get back to it. Oh, okay. One second. Okay, sorry. Can you ask that question one more time, please? Mm -hmm. Look at the look at the uh, priorities and tell me what how you would classify that stereo center. At, would it be R or S on the normal? Uh, it would be it would be S. Right. But the hydrogen is no longer pointed back, is it? Why is it not pointed back anymore? Well, the, the, the hydroxyl group is on the way on the dash. So oh, that makes okay. the hydrogen by default the uh group that's on the wedge. Okay. So, so if, if then hydrogen that would be the time that you would reverse yeah. it? Yes. So now this would be what? That would be R now. Right, we have to reverse it because of the, because the hydrogen is not dashed. In other words, the hydrogen is not pointed back into the uh, into the page. Anybody not not following that? All right, we got the same situation here too. The hydrogen is on a on a wedge, so that's four. Bromine is one. The priority is not going to change. This is two. And that's three. I think that's how we prioritized it up top. So that was, that should be what? Also be S, shouldn't it? Under normal circumstances. Yes, under normal circumstances. Mm -hmm. But since the hydrogen is on a wedge, we're going to also call this R. Right? And that's how we get, that's how we, normally I would teach the method of turning this into like a ball and stick model and rotating it in space, but- Oh no, please, I like this way better. <laughs> yeah, this is, it's, and, and it works, right? It does work. It does work. So this is R, that's R. And then over here, we have the same scenario. Hydrogen is on a wedge. It's so sloppy, so tighten up. <laughs> right, so if that's the case, 
we already prioritized that one up here too. So this is, uh, I think this was one. That's one, that's two, that's three. That would be R under normal circumstances. But because hydrogen is wedged, we're going to say that it's S. Right? Anybody not following this? So it's R, R, S. What do you notice about this mirror image? This is the enantiomer of that top structure, by the way. What do you notice about it when you compare it to the top structure? Look at what's what's the configuration of the top of, of each one. It's S S R, right? Yeah. Also, it's the exact opposite. It's the exact opposite. The mirror image is always the exact opposite. So that's S S R, and this is what R R S. Mm -hmm. It's the exact opposite. All right, now we can extrapolate this. We can take the what we know about the image and the mirror image and use it to determine what the configurations of my diastereomers are. Right. What was this one up top? This it was uh this was S. That was S. Is that right? Yeah. And, and then uh, go ahead. Bro, oh, go ahead. Never mind. No, go ahead. Ladies uh, first. I was <laughs> I was uh I didn't mute myself, but I was saying it like just out loud. Mm -hmm. What you were doing. So what is the what's the other one? R. This one. R. Because it was this R up here, so this is going to be what S. You see how it's reversed from the original image? You see how this one is wedged, and then down here is dashed. Oh, okay. So it's the opposite of that. Okay, right. All right. What about here? If this is S, and on and that's on a wedge, what would it be here if it's on a dash? R. That's R. This doesn't change. That's still S. And then this is R. And what about the bottom one? The bottom one is this is S. And then notice now here the bromine is different. So it's that's, that's going to be the opposite. So that's R. And then this is also R. Once you know like for a set of stereo isomers, once you know the configurations of each stereo, each stereo center, you can just extrapolate it. If any one of them changes, you know that it's the opposite of what you or what you started with. We're good on that. Any questions about it? Makes sense to me. All right. Um, and then could you do one like on the quiz? It was um, dang, what was it? Where the... Was it a Fisher? Yeah. Um, with the configuration like of the following Cairo Spencer's top to bottom, something like that. Like that. Yeah. No. No, kind of. Is that is that right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you do one of those since we're up? We're on it now, anyway. So <laughs> yeah, we're here. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> All right. Hold up. All right, so for, for a Fisher projection, it's the same principle. All right, if the OH is on a horizontal line like that, it's actually on a wedge. That's mm -hmm. how these Fisher projections are 
they're 2D images of a 3D structure. But anything on the on a horizontal line on a fissure is a wedge. And anything that's vertical is a dash. Mm -hmm. So this is actually going back into the page, and then so is this group right here. So so again, you because the H is on a wedge in this case right here, then we're going to reverse. If it's horizontal, we reverse it. Just like we did up top, if it, if it was on a wedge and not a dash, it's the same concept. Mm -hmm. So here, this is four. And then this is oxygen is gonna be one. And then this is carbon and that's carbon. And this carbon is bound to a bromine. And this carbon up here is bound to oxygen. So the point of difference is going to be oxygen. And, all, and the double bond doesn't matter unless the bottom, the, the atom right here, like unless this is an oxygen too, then it will matter. But the fact that it's a double bond to oxygen, that, does, that only matters if you're comparing it to another carbon that's bound to oxygen. So up here, you have a uh, bond to oxygen and you have a bond to bromine. So this is going to be higher in priority. So this carbon right here is going to be two, and then this carbon is going to be three. So if you count that, that's going clockwise, isn't it? Yes. But H is on a wedge, or H is horizontal. So we, right. instead of calling it R, we're going to call it S. Because anytime hydrogen is horizontal, you have to reverse that stereochemistry, just like we did up top. Yeah, I thought it was going, it's going, uh, oh, never mind. That's that's clockwise. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, uh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. No. So y'all see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do the next one, the second one, which is right here. Now, this one actually doesn't have a hydrogen, but we could still classify we can still prioritize bromine is going to be one come on Russell nitrogen is going to be two and then this is a carbon and that's a carbon following so mm -hmm. we need to go to the to the point to the point of difference the point of difference is so this carbon is bound to OH so is that one so then we need to move to the next atom which is the carbon here and the carbonyl. So we can see that and then it'll be that compared to that. Which one do you think is higher in priority? The carbon that's bound to oxygen or the CH3? Bound to the oxygen? Yes. So, that's, so that means that this carbon right here, because we still have to keep in mind that we're looking at this chiral center right here. So we're looking at the four things that are bound to it. So it's bromine, nitrogen, carbon, and carbon. So this carbon is going to be three. Uh oh, that's three, and then this one is four. Following. So why wouldn't you go down to the the OH over here too? What is really both have, that? Yeah, they both have an OH on them. Okay. So. So we wouldn't we wouldn't get anywhere by comparing those two. Okay. So that's that's why I went out to here and then to here. Because you all you have to keep going until you reach that point of difference. So what are, what do we have? One, two, three. This is looks counterclockwise. Is that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And and it's, I know it's confusing because it's flat. Uh, right. But the fourth the fourth group is vertical. Can you see that? Right. So, so we're gonna it's keep it. There's whatever it is, right? So in this case, if it's counterclockwise, then that means it's S. Okay. I didn't do that. Hold on. So that's also S. 
Yeah, this is one of the questions on the quiz. I kept getting wrong. Yeah, those fishers, they're tricky, but you just yeah. have to re remember the rule about horizontal and vertical. If the lowest priority group is horizontal, you reverse the configuration. If it's vertical, you keep it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I told y'all in class too, is like, if it's going towards heaven, keep it. If it's going towards hell, <laughs> reverse it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, <laughs> right. that's, that's the way I think about it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's goofy, but uh, if it'll help you remember it, then so be it. Okay. Then somebody will get all philosophical. Was well, hell horizontal or is hell vertical? <laughs> like, well, <laughs> who knows? I don't want to know. <laughs> all right. Uh, so let's do the bottom one. This is obviously oxygen is going to be one. And then this is four. Two and three will be between this carbon here and this carbon right here. What do you think? Um, so since it's both carbons, um, when you're like determined, like when you have to move over to the next atom, do mm -hmm. you have to go to the right or like to the it left? It doesn't matter. Just go, just find a point of difference. So if you go to the left or the right, would it be, be that carbon that's two? Um, the that's one. to the bromine. Yeah. Okay. So that that will make this two, and this carbon right here will be three. That's exactly right. Okay. Because on this carbon down, uh -oh, I had to erase up still. On it's this attached carbon, to the hydrogen. Yes, the next atom is hydrogen. Right. Okay. And on the carbon above it, the next atom is bromine. So that's that's what you're comparing. So let's see. This is one, two, three. That looks like it's clockwise. Is that right? So, and then H is vertical, so we'll keep it. So this is R. Isn't that crazy? That's the same thing we had up here. One of these anyway, SSR. What was the, yeah, the very first one we, now that's luck, that's serendipity. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> I'm not that smart. I, I, I didn't do that on purpose. That was really like luck. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the, when you're doing the fissures, the rule is if hydrogen is horizontal, reverse it. If it's vertical, keep it. Okay. Yeah. Any other any other questions? Um, aside from doing another um, alcohol to alcohol halide, um, I think we got to work on it. Y'all, y'all, y'all's arrow pushing it was rusty. I could tell. I so we're doing that <laughs> on Friday, right? Yeah, we are. We're gonna watch like, some more. Two years ago, so yeah, <laughs> some of this. I, stuff, I mean, like, it's. Uh, <laughs> It's supposed, it should be rusty because two years is a long time and I know you haven't touched organic since. Exactly. So <laughs> that's a long time to, to take off from a subject that's not your major. Um, your brain is uh, preoccupied with your biology major. Animal science. Uh, animal science. Yeah, your brain is preoccupied with anatomy. Oh, it's exactly. occupied with anatomy, all right. I'm taking anatomy, Girl. right? <laughs> Seminar. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, right? But <laughs> organic is not, it doesn't factor in because you really don't see the connection to mm -hmm. with between organic and what you're doing. So that's why it's not a thing, you know? And then it's kind of like when like, so when you're going over it and stuff in class, it really does click. But like, I don't feel like confident enough when I answer, when I answer them by myself that it's like, right. So you need, you need more reps. Yes. Yeah, a lot more reps. That's just, that's, and that's really, if you look in the, well, the syllabus is for the third edition, the old book, but those practice problems that are highlighted in the syllabus, that's what that's for. So you can practice, get it wrong and ask more questions because the more you do it, 
the the better you're gonna be at what you're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but we're gonna go back over the alcohols, the alcoholize on um, on tomorrow. We're gonna. I got some other examples that we're gonna do, and then we're gonna do that last example with that rearrangement, so we can talk about that. But all that. That's why I put in the announcement. I put those articles in there for you to read. The, okay. The blog, blog articles because they talk about rearrangement. Okay, and then those YouTube links with the arrow pushing and stuff. We're gonna go over that on Friday too. Or mm -hmm. oh yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna go back through another another. We're gonna go back through two of the uh, mechanisms. The thionyl chloride. That mechanism is a little bit more involved, and so I'll probably I'll probably save it to to. Uh, last we'll do that last you it's a quickly. lot of the thionyl chloride it's the second actually it's the first mechanism on the handout but i just skipped it because i didn't want to throw y'all to the wolves right away <laughs> oh yeah you was doing yeah. this i'm looking at it yeah Make it's, very, that, it's, it's very so yeah i remember that <laughs> mm, it's not it's not that it's so hard it's just uh, it's there are more steps and more intermediates, so I I, I want to save that one so I can walk through it, walk it down. 